Ravens, welcome to ONW Now. I'm Ron Stanley. And I'm Lena Satterin. And today's show will bring you stories on Raven Service Club, the hype competition, and a new segment called Ron's Rant. ONW's Raven Service Club has taken on yet another contest with crosstown rival Olathe North. Here's RSC President Sarah Straup with a little more about this event. So it's a fundraiser that we're doing with Olathe North's service club and so we started the spirit stick and so everyone brings in deodorant to the Olathe North game. You just drop it off when you enter and um, the deodorant goes to giving the basics which allows people who can't afford the basic necessities like personal hygiene items to um, be supplied the stuff that they need. Don't forget to bring your deodorant to the North versus Northwest game on February 16th. RSC will have bins at the entrance of Olathe North to collect all the donations. Yesterday, the chess club had their first day of tournament play during lunch A. They're holding their tournament for the next two weeks, and the last few days will be bracket play, declaring the final winner. Olathe Northwest hype team, previously known as LTAB, is hosting an event called Poetry Before the Storm. The event will be a competition featuring schools from all across the district as they battle it out for ultimate bragging rights. It begins at 6.30 tonight and will be held at the auditorium. Come out and support the hype team as they celebrate the art of slam poetry. Now let's throw it over to Jack Clayton and Adam Cook for the latest on Northwest Sports. What's up Ravens? Welcome to Game Day for this week. I'm Adam Cook alongside Jack Clayton. This week, we have highlights of the swim and dive team, girls and boys basketball, and bowling. Congratulations to the boys swim and dive team for taking first with their dual meet against Shawnee Mission West last week. Special congratulations to Ashton Weaver for qualifying for state in the 500 freestyle, and to Harrison Mallory for qualifying in the 100 backstroke. The team took third place this weekend out of 12 teams at the Wichita Invitational. Congratulations to Bradley Davis, Kyle Furman, and Joe Claycomb for taking first, second, and fifth at the Shawnee Mission East Swim and Dive Invitational this weekend. The team swims again this Friday, and ONW hosts a Sunflower League meet. Come out and support your Ravens. The girls and boys basketball teams played against Shawnee Mission South of Raiders on Tuesday night. The Lady Ravens started off slow with more than a few missed shots. In the second quarter, Lady Ravens trailed by 12. Later in the second quarter, uh, after the pass from Shana Espy, Mary Reber drops a three-pointer and brings the score 10 to 19. Later in the second quarter, after drawing the foul, Sarah Beth Geldner pulls up at the three free throw line. She's going to drop that one, stay perfect for the night from the strip. She then shoots another three-pointer in the second quarter. Geldner put, up the Raven, put the Ravens up in the third quarter as she once again shot for the three. The ladies were a great offense as they kept possession throughout the majority of the second half. The Lady Ravens won 44-42. After the, after the matchup between the girls, the boys took on the Raiders after losing the tip. Aaron Reynolds hits the free throw line jumper for two. Later in the first quarter, Mitch Midyet hits a free three pointer on the pass from Kyle Sheever. Jack Parks then gets the rebound and goes up strong for two points to take the lead in the second quarter. Later in the third quarter, Parks again gets the lob and finishes for two at the rim. In the fourth quarter, Aaron Reynolds hits a baseline jumper. Unfortunately, the Ravens would fall to the Raiders 51 to 49. This Friday, there will be a doubleheader between the, when the boys and girls play against Olathe East. Come out and support both teams. The Raven Boars are out at Mission Bowl on Monday, striking up against Lawrence High and Olathe West. Marcy, boys and girls play second in the meet. Congrats, Raven Bowlers. That's all for this week on Game Day. Let's pass it back to Ron and Lena. Monday night, the ONW Band held the Area Band Festival with over 380 students attending. Jacob Guernsey and Jacob Kaufman have the details. This previous Monday, ONW Symphonic Band, Concert Band, Wind Ensemble, and Raven Winds held, their, held a concert inviting the 6th graders, 7th graders, and 8th graders of PRT Middle School. Performing songs such like Battle Song, Rock Your Bones, and Junkyard Jam, the bands eventually went for a big combined performance, bringing the middle school and the high schoolers together. We caught up with Tanner Morrison to tell us about his life experiences in band. It's my favorite thing about band. Making loud noises on things that I should not be making loud noises on. For Jacob Kaufman, this has been Jacob Guernsey. Now, back to the desk. Students in Mr. Cato Henry's Honors Chemistry classes put on a fossil fuel information fair. These sophomores did research on their own and presented it to parents and other students at Northwest to learn how stored up energy can become useful. 
So our project was basically about how different fossil fuels are related to our real lives. There was photosynthesis, there was different things about climate change and global warming, such as my project being about engine knocking and uh, octane rating. For one, I enjoy projects like this. I think I really benefited more. I actually learned this stuff. I feel like I'm going to remember it a lot more than if I was just taught it. It's been fun to see them kind of take initiative and be proud of what they're working on. and. Um, I just like kind of doing that project more than just a test over this unit, so it's been fun. Oh. Welcome to your first edition of Roan's Rant. Before my sarcasm-filled update on the Westboro protest a couple of weeks ago, I just want to make it clear that Roan's Rant is an opinion segment that does not reflect the views of the Raven Daily or the eCommunications Academy. I had to say that. I attempted to contact Westboro through email before their scheduled protest. I asked them if they had any further contact and if there was any way I could interview a protester while they were here. Days after they had canceled their protest, they sent me the most entertaining email I've ever seen. It read, I'm grieved by your pride, impudence, and ignorance as it relates to your creator. I hope to inform you that God hates all workers of iniquity. Therefore, God hates the the Northwest. That'd be a good yearbook quote. Repent and believe on the Lord Jesus. All this is funny because I would have thought Westboro would have been protesting until hell froze over. Well, apparently hell freezes over at about 10 degrees Fahrenheit because that's what it took for them to call it quits. They have yet to reschedule a protest. That's all for this week's show. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at ONW underscore Raven Daily and on Snapchat at ONW Now. Before we go, don't forget to come out to the girls' and boys' basketball games on Friday. For ONW Now, this has been Lena Satterin and Roan Stanley. Have a great day, Ravens.